Check this out, guys. What do we have going on here? We're building a little area. If you can take a guess real quick, comment down below real quick what you think this might be. It's right behind our garden. There's our garden right there. And let me walk around to the front real quick. Kind of give you a different shot. There's that little tree still alive. So looking back this way, you kind of see what's going on here. Take a guess real quick. Show you our garden real quick. We uh, have one till going through. We're gonna put some manure in here, till it again a couple times, add some fertilizer, getting ready for garden season. All right, guys, well, have you figured it out? We are building ourselves a little homemade hothouse out of scrap lumber that we had laying right here, actually, some of it, and a few posts. We had a couple doors over here that were in the woodshed and they got a little warped. So this would have been like a interior door. And you can tell she's a little warped um, from being weathered and whatnot, but it'll make a nice little greenhouse door. We'll have to paint it, of course, otherwise it's gonna get really warped. But if you check this out, we, uh, I built myself a little cradle over there. You can't hardly see it from out here. Let me get in here. All right, build myself a little cradle on that side and above the door here i built a little cradle that's where our ridge is going to go we're getting ready to drop that in and then after that we're going to put some <laughs> trusses on here and i'm going to use probably the two by sixes and i'm just going to go flat actually across here because there's not going to be any weight bearing issues really and then it'll, it'll allow that extra width for that plastic to be secured down without ripping and then we'll put a few of those up maybe one around the bottom put the plastic on there and build a couple shelves in there we'll plant some veggies things get them going some squashes we'll come in the door here and we'll have a couple shelf over here maybe one over here and then uh, i'm also in the back i'm going to plant one of my giant pumpkins <clears throat> for the season and it's going to start growing in here. So by, uh, you know, July or, or so, this will be an entire pumpkin plant. And then our shelves will be empty because our vegetables will be out in the garden at that point. So I'm going to try to grow my giant pumpkin in here. I'm going to have to make it to where the plant can kind of creep underneath. Because it's going to fill this up pretty quick, I'm hoping. And if it does, yippee doo da day. And <laughs> at the end... If it's too big of a pumpkin, I'm going to take that back part apart, drive my tractor and pick it up, go out, and then put that back in. So it's just kind of a, a makeshift hothouse that I can take apart pretty easy if need be. If not, then I guess that's the way it is. But we're fixing to put that ridge cap up there right now. So let's get it up there and see how she looks. So we put our ridge pole up there. I have not secured it yet. So we're going to go up there and screw it in place. Let me back up a little bit. A little better view there. I'm stepping on a nail. Okay. Anyways, there's our ridge pole. It kind of worked like a, like a charm, didn't it? Well, guys, it's the following day. Our uh, wind was pretty ferocious last night. It actually has been for quite quite a few days here in a row, but um, just couldn't film. Couldn't get any good microphone action going on. You couldn't hear me. So we're back out here the next day. So here it is. This is where we're at. As you can see, we got a couple of trusses up, <laughs> but uh, don't don't look too close to it, guys, because it is a disastrous mess. It's really not that great of uh, it's not real square and all that stuff. My cuts aren't perfect. It's a greenhouse, though. I mean, come on, it's just a makeshift greenhouse out of leftover lumber. You know, a plane flying overhead probably won't notice that it's not perfectly square and whatnot. So uh, neither will I. Anyways. We got our door put in here. I went and got a doorknob yesterday because of the wind, of course, so we could secure it. And of course now we have a door. So it's kind of cool. Um, not too shabby for what we got going on. We're going to put probably three more of the little rafters up. I'm going to do one here in the middle or one in the middle. 
and then in the middle of each section for a total of what is that five <laughs> five five on each side anyways uh and if that doesn't work then we'll add some in the middle of that but with the boards i have that would be my best situation and of course i'm going to go ahead and put them on like this here the same way so uh i have a nice flat surface for that uh, plastic to sit on and then i'm going to take some slats and screw a few areas down to hold it um but i'm wanting this this broad surface for that plastic to kind of sit on and slap against giving it some uh, some better support a little broader support you know so it doesn't tear so much but anyways put a little uh in there and probably put a couple others you know i'm kind of wondering if i need to put a little gusset across here kind of keep that from flexing i mean the wind gets pretty ferocious it's going to be like a you know we put that plastic on there it's going to be pulling pretty hard so i'm kind of wondering if i need to throw in some supports across in the corners to keep that from moving but that's no big deal we can do that after the plastic's on honestly here we go guys i would be at work today i'm supposed to be at work however my cow ivy i think is going into heat and so I'm hanging back a little while to see if this actually is going to happen because I need to be here. Um, we believe it's out of the Akaushi bull and <clears throat> it could be a pretty good size calf. So I need to be here. But anyways, there it is. We're just going to go ahead and keep working on the greenhouse today while Ivy does her thing. And hopefully we'll have that as well. But anyways, I'm rambling on long enough. How, how long can I talk about a busted up little greenhouse i'm building <laughs> anyways i'll uh bring you along a little bit we'll get some more up and kind of show you as it goes along what we got going on and i think my wife's going to paint the door we'll see what happens progressing along here guys um i had to take a little <laughs> sidebar down to the corral ivy uh went into labor and gave birth to her calf and you'll see that video probably tomorrow um Anyway, so let me just show you where we ended off today. We got our little rafters up and it's uh, looking not perfect. Don't judge me, it's gonna work. Anyways, <laughs> so on the back side, you know guys, I decided I had a couple old windows laying around. Um, I was thinking about how I'm gonna get my air draft going through there. Really wanted to put her up here, up high. And these windows are just too big and uh, I couldn't pass up on using them. So we went ahead and put them down low. We kind of framed them in there real quick. And uh, we got one on the other side. I'll go show you. That'll give me a nice draft when it gets too hot in there. And uh, keep those plants at the right temperature, anyhow. So on the front side, we did the same thing. Right there. And just put it to the left of the door. Because again, it wouldn't fit up there. And I didn't want to do the right because my doorknob would break the window. But anyways, one thing we did with these windows... The one on the back side, I like how I walked through the door, I didn't really need to, but anyways. On the back side, I have the uh, handle on the outside. I open that window from the outside because this is gonna be full of uh, pumpkin plant later this year, and I don't wanna have to walk across it to open it. This one here, however, we did normal. We can come in and I guess slide it open as need be to let the air through. But it's coming along pretty nice, guys. It's probably, venturing into a little bit more than we set out to do but it's it's gonna work but i'm gonna let this video end right here guys so come along later this week as we put plastic over it and kind of fill in the ends as best we can and then make some kind of a movable shelf in there to start getting some plants going take care guys have a good one